All right, let me run it down one more time. <laughs> you got a son. He's 10 years old. All right. Just confirm that you can hear me. So he's 10 years old, right? Yeah, I can hear you. You got other kids too. You got a delay. So, boom, on Monday, you find out he needs emergency surgery for a kidney. Or else he's a goner. All right. On Tuesday, y'all get the blood work. The surgery Wednesday. But on Tuesday, after the blood work, you find out he ain't yours. Do he still get that kidney? No. <laughs> so, in the context is he's nine. You thought he was your son all this time. You don't get that kidney? Yeah, I'm, nah, I'm not giving him my kidney. He's not my son. <laughs> I call Cap. Wait, <laughs> why not? Wait, why not? Why not? Because it's my kidney. So what if one of my other kids need my kidney? <laughs> so like, is that, 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 that's a huge surgery, right? Like I'm putting my life at risk. Nah, we can, she can find his dad. We can find a real dad. You know what I'm saying? I'll I help pay for it still, but I'm not giving him my kidney. Mm. So after 10 years, you're going to be able to detach that quickly? N nah, but I'm still not about to give him my kidney, though. You're not my son, yo. But it's emergency surgery. You know what that means? That's on his mom. Like, that's consequences, yo. That, that's on his mom. I feel like he can't even be mad at me for that. Wow. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> He can't be mad at me. Damn. Mm, mm, mm. You see, you call cat. Right, I do. Why? You, how you raise somebody as yours and not give? That's not his fault. And I don't even think. It, but I don't even think in a matter of two days that you can change the way that you view that person. You view that as your child. Yeah, but it's a lot of anger that come with that too right and you find out the kid not yours i'm probably not gonna process that like his mom gotta go she can't even probably come back to the crib no more you know what i'm saying like it's a lot that's gonna come with that automatically so more often than not i'm probably not giving up my kidney she can take care of that so you're gonna emotionally respond in that moment of a life or death situation you got another day you know what I'm saying? He got he got a few days. <laughs> Damn, that's his mom fault. This is from yeah, yeah, no way. Wait. So y'all really gonna be that. upset? It's not it's not his mom fault. It is her fault, but you wouldn't feel guilty at all if if he died. Absolutely not, because that's not my it's not my child. I'm not that's, obligated to give him. Raised him, him for ten years from yeah. birth. That is your child. Yeah. That is, you he is probably more like you than he would ever be like anybody else. My stepkids, those my kids. I got married. <laughs> I know who they biological father is. Those my kids. If you trick me into raising a child that is not mine, then once I find out, I am not obligated to do anything for that child. You're, You're right. You're not, not doing it. Doesn't make me a bad person either. You're right. You're not obligated. But the question remains, you had this emotional bond. You raised this being for 10 years. And so having the ability to shut off your emotions so quick, which they're not shut off, let's be very clear. It has shifted mm. from love to anger and hate and all of that. So let's be clear. It's and it's line. towards the mother and not the child because the child is innocent. And so there's, you, a, there's a lot of innocent kids that I probably could help, but that it doesn't mean I'm going to do it. Like y'all are telling me to put my life at risk, right? Cause it is probability that I could die from the surgery and all of that. And I'm supposed to give it to put my life at risk for a child that's not mine when I got seven more that so are question. mine. That so makes question. no sense. So question, so say, say, and sorry to flip it here, but say a kid- No flipping it. <laughs> let, me just, let me just ask this question. I'm gonna put you in the back. Oh my god! No, no, y'all don't think of no genius shit. Then you want to try to kind of. It ain't no genius shit. It was just based off the statement that he made. If you're gonna ask a, a clarifying question to on his thought, but if you're gonna ask a different question from the question I posed, nah. All right, go ahead. So I have a question based on what he said because this is along the same lines which with what he said. All right, that's good. The stepkids versus a, that you did not birth either. 
how do you make the differentiation between those aren't your kids either biologically and neither is this other child, but you can find love for someone. You can find love for the stepkids that are innocent as well. As long as is this other child who calls you daddy, who is your heart. Like you raised him as your firstborn, as your first son, because he's 10 years old. The others are younger. How do you make the differentiation differentiation in your mind right now in this moment and saying, I love my stepkids. I can't love this other kid that's not mine. What's the difference? John the Baptist with the $5 super chat. He raised a lie with a liar. You spelled liar wrong. But all right. He did spell liar wrong. And the child is not a lie. <laughs> nah, but so, so, so to answer your question, though, when I got married, those became my kids. For her to mm -hmm. cheat on me with another man, that's something I didn't sign on for. So he's not mine. So I'm not going to, again, risk my life for a child that is not mine when I have seven other children to take care and provide for. It. I'm not I'm, doing it. I'm talking about the emotional piece, Adrian. Forget it. I, I, oh, I'm the emo I mean, the emo we don't make I don't make decisions off of emotions, or at least I try not to, because typically we make the wrong decision. I always try to be as logical as is possible. But that is an emotional decision. You say, you no. Know. That's not an emotional decision. I gave you my logical reasoning. Logically, I'm not going to risk my life for a child that is not mine when I have seven other children to think about. I'm going to try not to put myself in harm's way, period, because nobody is going to provide for my seven children the way that I am. I'm That's a very about, logical decision. But it's still, I'm talking it's about still the emotional, emotional piece with the kids. It's still emotional because your anger is not towards him. It's towards her. So that's still an emotional aspect of it. That still doesn't make it logical because you already decided you were gonna do it. You were already gonna put your life on the line with all those other children. So you still made the decision that you were going to do it. But emotionally, because you're angry right now and the bitch is, what, is a liar, you emotionally decided, you know what? I'm not gonna save this little boy's life. So Very I right. don't agree. No, no, she's right. not, Gunny. Gunny, no, she's she not. is. She's right. Because one, listen, no, she's not. Because one, I'm not even in this situation, right? So there's literally no emotion at all. So I'm literally telling you what I would do without the emotion. So how is me doing an emotional decision? Because, because you're not, you're, you're not making that decision without emotion. Because if you, if the, the the day prior to that, you would make the decision to give one of your body parts to your, to what you thought was your child. Right. So then right. the and day after you find so, so as soon as you find out that that child is not yours, you're making an emotional decision by not doing it. That's a decision that has nothing to do with the child. It has nothing to do with the child. So the, the fact of the matter is that it's not whether the child is yours uh, or not, yeah. because you admitted you admitted yourself that your steps, your, your stepchildren are your children because you know exactly where they come from. They're not your seeds, but you take care of them because you. You, you know who they are. Yo, put Gunny ass in the bathroom. Man. <laughs> I don't know what you are talking about. An emotional decision would be for me to say, well, okay, even though this is happening and he's not my son, I'm still going to do it anyway. What I am saying is, I'm literally saying I'm not going to jeopardize my life for a child that is not mine. That is very <laughs> That makes all of the sense in the world. There's You're no making emotion in it at all. That's literally how I move now. So the only reason why I was going to make the decision in the first place was because I thought it was my child. Now that that information has changed, a logical, a fact changed, right? It was a fact that changed. He's not my child. I'm not doing it anymore. That's a contradictory <laughs> statement. You, that's, no, that's con You're contradicting yourself because if you have stepchildren, the children that are not yours... You're not giving your life for those they steps. Are my kids. You, you may not they be doing it right then and there by, by donating your kidney, but you're donating your time, you're donating your resources, you're donating, you're donating so much to children that are not yours that it, that's not the same thing. But he, he no. willingly accepted those children as his. It's the lie that he's not accepting. It's the betrayal on behalf of the woman that he's not accepting. But that has nothing to do with the child. And it has nothing to do with him at that point either. But it has, that's wrong. I, I think that's that's, I, I, that's, 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 that's morally that, 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 no, that's wrong. I, I, I think that's wrong. Morally wrong is that hat you got on. <laughs> now that's morally wrong. 
What's, what's wrong? Hold on. And Gunny, you sound like them people who be saying we got to accept everything. You cannot, there is nothing wrong for me to not want to risk dying for a child that is not my own. As a father, I only have to provide for mine. He's not mine. When I got married, her kids became mine. Not her stepping outside of me and having a child outside of wedlock. That's not, I mean, not outside of wedlock. But she cheated on me and she had a baby. That's not my child. I didn't sign up for that. I understand that point. And, yeah. and, and you make oh, a lot. It, that's not, a logical point. That's not morally point. wrong. That's not morally but, but wrong the, at all. But it, the, the reason I think that it's morally wrong is because the child has nothing to do with that. You develop the relationship over 10 years with this innocent human being that has nothing to do between his mother being deceptive or not. That's the issue that you can address later. The child has nothing to do with that. So you're going and to I'm not you're arguing. going to no, spare this, the child because of the mom being a this, this is the thing. This is what you're doing. You're picking one point of the conversation to focus on instead of listening to what I'm saying. Because I'm not saying it's the child's fault. I'm saying it doesn't matter. I only risk my life for my children. Is he my child? No. So he no longer gets that right. It's it's, it's just that simple. He's not my child. He doesn't get that right. I don't care what type of relationship I form with anybody. John the Baptist. Yeah, John the Baptist. Five dollars super chat. This is why men be intentional rulers and never let women tell you to be nice. I think that's kind of a spinoff from yesterday. I got one more. Then let me get cute. Right. One pill with a child's super chat. We're good. Miss Andrew is showing on the panel using shame to downplay a woman's treachery. Go ahead, Q. That has nothing to do with it. Ahead, has, a, a woman's treachery has ahead, nothing to do with it. Go ahead, Q. Sorry, Q. Ahead. Sorry about that. Thank you. Yeah, no, I, I think yeah. Gunny is making some strong points, but I also mm -hmm. just don't want to gloss over the fact that Adrian did say he would still be inclined to paying for it. So where it could be morally wrong if he still has that inclination to make sure that the child is in a good space because of that 10-year attachment. Uh, y'all y'all gotta acknowledge that part everybody who's like oh that's not right this that and the third he did say that though so so i just said like let him stand on that hmm. but, but but we still got to go back to hamp's example you know mary tried to shift it a little bit but hamp's example is is we need to get this done right away mm -hmm. so for mr white to say that i'm going to pay for it that that's adding to the scenario and we're, we're not doing that now Am I right or wrong? But, okay. Uh, well, that would be your opinion. I think, though, the thing I appreciate about what Adrian is saying is, I really feel most niggas would do what the fuck he said. I really feel that. I do, because too. You, because you're expecting him to not make an emotional decision with something that comes with high emotion. You know what I mean? Like, this bitch done fucked around and had him thinking this was his child, and now the child is on fucking life support? Mm, mm, mm. That's why I never say he was wrong. Like me personally, I never said he was wrong for his decision. I just said it was a to me, it was an emotional response. But right, I don't. But he's not. Don't he's, he's not wrong because I don't know what I would do. But he's not saying fuck that child. He on his own. He's just saying right. I now have to think about my other kids because I only got but so many organs. Mm -hmm. That's a type mm -hmm. type position to be in, and that's not at, at his, he doesn't have to take have to take the onus for that. Right. Yeah. Hey, shout out to Ashley Simpson becoming a new shit like that. 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 We appreciate you, man. The membership is growing. If y'all notice, I also leave some videos a little early and they are members only. So if you're a member, you can view them. You know, as we grow, the chat may be a members only chat. And we got the 99 cent subscription where you have all the access well not as much access as the the the, the four dollar ones but nevertheless right i just showing love so we can continue to grow and invest you feel me so as we appreciate you mm -mm -mm. i don't know I, I i probably not giving up my kidney if if i find out one of these kids ain't mine i'm not <laughs> taking care of them no more no yeah, i feel like that's the same thing right I no, I think that's different. I think I think that's just like you. you I think that's that's adding on to the story. You, you, 
taking care of them and making a split decision. You said he had one day to decide. It's life yeah, or death. Yeah. You know that, that I think I think that's a different that's a different thing. That's fair. And and what I was saying, I don't know if it was heard or not. What I was saying, based on what he was talking about, that's not my kid. And then I was trying to juxtapose that with stepkids. I wanted to know how did that fit in, and how 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 do you make that you fit within your stepkids? I'm not not yours, because I think at some point, if I remember correctly, you said emotionally that that's not your kid. And that the emotional piece, I, I thought you said, maybe while you were still trying to flesh it out, you said that um, the attachment wouldn't necessarily be there anymore. I thought you did say that. And I was going, you did not say that? Or what, what are you saying no to? No, no. So I never said it was emotional. I said it's a factual thing, right? So when no, I got talking, married. No, no connection. I'm talking, forget about emotional decision. No, emotional connection I'm talking about at this point. No, the emotional, the emotional connection will still be there. Okay. I thought you I'm, said I'm not that saying the emotional connection is gone. What I'm yeah. saying is I will make a factual decision. I don't care how I feel about it. No, that's fine. I, I'm not forget about that. I'm, I went about the, the stepkids and not, that's all. But you answered my question. Thank you. Mm, mm, mm. Any final thoughts on this? Yeah. Where the fuck is the mother kidney? <laughs> uh, she don't have the same blood type. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm an agent on that one. I'm, I don't know. Like, I think that's a big decision to make under those circumstances. And I think it, it's like it, everybody wants to feel like they would say, no, I would still do it. That's a fucked up situation, though. But would you do and it too, just biologically, you have two kidneys. So you can, I, I have I have one kidney. And I, I've been living with one kidney for the last 25 years. You, you, you can live a normal <laughs> life. With one kidney, so it's gonna you hit know, different take that when you're on dialysis too. and you looking at the fucking the baby, the betrayal baby, and this nigga thriving like that shit gonna hit different. <laughs> that's, not that's not the baby's fault. Yo, he, he, I think that he, 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 the betrayal baby. Is, <laughs> on dialysis, looking at the betrayal baby, the whole time betrayal baby. Shit. That shit go, it's gonna hit different. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and then he gonna want to meet his real dad. You know what I'm saying? Want to hang out with his real dad for Father's Day? Nah, yo. No, no, what if his real dad needed to give you? I agree with you. What if his real dad needed to give you and give him yours? Real dad. <laughs> <laughs> to give your kidney to his real dad. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Yeah, y'all gotta leave stepkids out out of that too. It, it, a betrayal baby? That's a different type of. That's a different type. Nah, yep. I'm with you. Okay. Age. If I'm a man you. came to the door with a baby he had while we were married, I ain't taking care of it. That's different. That's, that's completely it different. No, it's not. It is. I you, that's not a 10 year relationship that you have I with a child. Marriage, I ain't taking care of no child. You stepped out of our marriage and I ain't giving no kidney. I agree with Adrian. Mm -hmm. John the Baptist with the $2 super chat. In today's culture, men should. <laughs> He must have missed that episode. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel. <laughs>